Hey everyone, so today is my promise tutorial on the painted book cover. So um, this is just a book that I've already, you know, removed all the pages and stuff. And this is kind of an old book. You can tell. So this is the one we're going to paint. Um, we are going to use these two paints today, and this one is Burnt Sienna. I'm at a new angle today, and I really like it. I think I'm going to video from this angle all the time. Yeah, that one is Burnt, yeah, Burnt, this one is Burnt Sienna, and this one is Burnt Umber. So, we're going to use those two. My chair is sinking. God, this chair. Okay, and I've got just these foam brushes. So you guys, this tutorial is like, or this method of painting the book is like super easy, you guys. Let's get started. I don't use like a palette or anything. I just, I just put it onto the book. And like I said, you guys, this is so easy. I kind of feel silly doing it, but I had a request from two or three of my subscribers if I could do the tutorial and just show them how I paint my book. So I'm just painting, just making sure everything is covered. This is the burnt sienna that I'm using. So I'm just getting to the creases. Like that. I really, really, really love painting these book covers. I love that vintage look to them. Or like wood. I, I don't know if it's more like a wood green or it just looks really nice and I really really love it so you know I'm not used to doing tutorials so <laughs> this is probably kind of boring for you guys to see me just paint this but so just I go from top to bottom just make sure it's all you know one long continuous line my chair is sinking again God, I think my chair is broken that or I need to lose weight <laughs> let me fix it again okay so the first coat is on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to apply a second coat to this. And I usually go around the edges as well. But just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. I can do that later. But look at it, you guys. Look how pretty it looks so far and it's not even done so I'm gonna let it dry I'm probably gonna use my heat tool to speed it up and then I will cut this part out of the video so you guys don't have to watch it so I'll be back you guys okay you guys so I just um, use my heat tool to to dry it and it's pretty well dry and I just went around the edges of the book so I'm gonna do another coat of the burnt sienna and again I'm just gonna you know put it like that I'm just gonna do mostly on the spine though I think I kind of want to cover up the the lighter color make it a little more darker And I'm not going to worry if I get every little, um, you know, spot. I'm just 
I'm just kind of going over it roughly. Yeah. So just easy peasy. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this, you guys. You know, it's just, it's up to you in what you like. You know, how you like your cover. Whoops. And I, sometimes I just press down like that and just go all the way. Okay. So I will um, use my heat tool again to dry it completely and then I'm going to go over it with the burnt umber. Okay, you guys. So I use my heat tool again to, to dry it. So... Let me just show you before I add the burnt umber. So this is how it looks. Okay. And now I'm ready for this one. Clean brush. This one I don't want to apply too too much because I still want this reddish to um, be like kind of in the background. And I was inspired by this from actually my kitchen cabinets. It has like the cherry wood, so I thought it would look pretty. So I'm just picking up some paint. And I'm just going to go again, very lightly, top to bottom. I don't want to cover too, too much. That's why I didn't just put the paint onto the cover itself. Because I just want to pick up a little bit and go over it. And I don't mind if it's more dark on the edges because I'm going to um, probably distress it anyways. So, just going over it, you guys. And if you don't, if you feel like you've put too much, you can just use like a baby wipe to take some of it off. And yeah, see? Okay, I really like that a lot. Look at that. There's a difference. So there is this one. I don't like this. Yeah, okay, that's better. So this is one side done compared to this side. So that's the original side and then this is the one with the burnt umber. And then you can see it has, you can still see like the red, but it has that like staining effect, which I really, really like. So let's do the second one. The other side, I should say. Again, just going back and forth. Lightly picking up just a little bit of paint. I am by no means an artist, you guys. I can't draw or paint to save my life, but for whatever reason, when I do these books, it comes out nice. <laughs> okay. And you just eyeball it. Like I said, it's however you like it, whatever effect you like. Okay. 
And I have, so I'm going to do that last. But there it is. This one has a coffee cup stain on the cover. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. It's so cute. So there it is. And let's do the spine. Let me do this first. And then just, I just lightly go down the corners or in the creases like that. bit darker in the crease, a little more worn. So that is it you guys. Whoops. just go around the edges uh, the, like the outside edges later but that's it you guys so I am going to let this dry and I will be back to add a layer of Mod Podge and I'm going to be using um, where is it where is my Mod Podge oh right here this one you guys I'm going to use this one because it, it's not super glossy. It is just the Hard Coat Mod Podge. And when it dries, it has a little bit of a shine, but not too glossy, which is what I like. So I'll be back when this dries, and we will finish up this book cover, you guys. Okay, you guys, so I am back to finish up the last um, step of doing this book cover. Well, it's actually not the last step. Um, what I would normally do as well is um, on the inside, I would do just the, like this portion all around like that. Do the one layer of the burnt sienna, let it dry. Like I would go all the way around. I wouldn't do the, the middle because I'm gonna put paper. Um, I would do that as well, but I'm not going to do that today. So let's go ahead and cover this with the Mod Podge. Again, it is the hard coat. And uh, I'm just, yeah, I looked at it and I'm satisfied with how it looks. I really love it. Nice base for a vintage journal, so... Lots of Mod Podge. Again, same technique, just long strokes from top to bottom. Give it a nice, generous coat. Again, this is kind of the boring part. If I know how to speed it up, I will try and speed this part up. If not, then you guys can just skip it. I don't mind. <laughs> now, when you go in the creases, you have to be careful because sometimes the Mod Podge, it kind of pools a little bit. And it'll dry like with the goop still there. It won't be like a clean dry. So just be careful, make sure nothing is gathered. I have a ton of these books, you guys. Um, 
um, I go to my library when they have their their book fair and they're like you um, buy a bag for four dollars and then you can stuff your bag with however many books you can get into your bag so that's when I usually buy these or I go to like the thrift stores and stuff like that bottom nice even strokes and this is almost dry already I only do one coat of this you guys um, you can do a couple if you want I just usually do one. There. Whoops. Sorry, you guys. It's just a bit done. So I will be back with the final um, completed book cover, painted book cover, to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, back in a bit, you guys. Okay, everyone, so I am back with the finished book, uh, painted book cover, and it's all done, and it's looking fabulous. I just love it. So, here it is. You can still see that, like, cup stain, but that's okay. I like it. And then this is the back. And again, you can see it just has a little bit of a shine um, nothing too you know too glossy um, it's still a little bit tacky but um, that's the finished project you guys you need to try it and I did paint the inside uh, when I go to use this for my project I will just you know put some paper there I will Mod Podge this as well but um, yeah, that's it. So easy peasy, you guys, and you can mix and match your paints. Like if you want to do a lighter background, you can use this one. I've used this one. It is the suede. Let me see. Suede. I've um, put this as my top coat on a book cover and then used the burnt umber for the top coat. So. You can do a lot, lots of different mixes and matches and you know, however you wish to get your desired effect. Um, but that is the process, you guys. I hope you like the tutorial. I will try and um, edit out a lot of the, you know, boring stuff, but... Oops, what happened? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll edit out a lot of the boring stuff, so... Um, thank you all so much for watching and have a great day everybody. Bye!